Hi everyone, I'm Hannah and I'm serving as the program assistant for Plant Blue Student Leaders. Um, so this year we have 13 Plant Blue Student Leaders who will be in across campus. So now we'll hear from a few of our members on how they and you can live more sustainably, more sustainably this year. So as someone living in the dorms and dealing with a lot of trash and um, material from the takeout system, I find it really helpful to sort what's recyclable, what you have to throw away, and what can be compostable and keep that in my dorm so I can sort it later and put it in the, bas the right baskets when the trash room is more empty than it usually is. Um, hi, I'm Mavi. To kind of echo what Ree said, uh, we know that extra safety measures in our dining halls have increased the amount of carryout packages that students use daily. Um, and we just want to let you know, just in case you don't know, that most of those materials are compostable. So uh, just uh, make sure to clean up, clean up after yourself um, and look out for compost bins when you're finished using the packaging materials and sort your waste accordingly, trash, compost, or recycle. Hi guys, I'm Emma. Um, I kind of going off like the compost thing. This is my first year living off campus and composting off campus can be a little bit intimidating um, at first, but um, me and my housemates were, were starting our own compost bin and it's actually like super easy and um, simple to do. Um, so if you're living off campus, I think it's a really um, fun and easy thing to do. Um, well, like thinking about the environment and eliminating food waste. Hi all, I'm Izzy and I'm in my second year here at U of M. Uh, so I've had some time to think about what sustainable dorm and room decor looks like. And this year, one of the things I'm most excited about are colored LED lights that I've put up all around my apartment. Um, these LEDs are well known to be a good friend of the environment with their strides in energy efficiency, but they also have certain components that inspire high intensity and a beautiful range of color. And for me, I know that my environment is super important to how I feel and act. So with long days, remote work, uh, these LEDs can really help to revitalize and refresh my space and mood. So pro tip too, I suggest buying them with a remote so it's a lot easier to turn them on and off when you're leaving or using the room. Hi guys, I'm Steve. I'm living off campus for the first time this year. And I found that a great way to get food um, when you're living off campus is to cook. And a Ann Arbor is a great source of local produce that you can get. And when you're cooking for a lot of people, you can get the same meal that, that goes and lasts you know, a few days or you can vary it up and you know, learn a new thing at the same time. And it's pretty sustainable when you're buying from the local produce. Hi all, I'm Sandra. Um, I'm going to give you the trivia question for our video. Um, so the question is, what is it called um, when you leave appliances plugged in? Um, what is that energy called that's sucked out of the socket when the appliance is turned off but still plugged in? And it's actually called vampire energy. So make sure to unplug um, after you're done um, using whatever appliance um, to save a little bit on energy. Um, and that uh, thank you for watching our video.